Let's talk about diagnosing lymphedema. Most of the time, a diagnosis can be made with a medical history and physical exam because there are some questions when asked and answered in a particular way make a diagnosis almost certain. Examples include the case of a patient with a cancer history who's had lymph node excision, radiation, or positive lymph nodes, and a slow onset of progressive swelling. That's an easy one. But there's also trauma to the affected limb or quadrant, certain other comorbidities, certain medications, family history, increased BMI, genetic factors, and the list goes on and on. And while a diagnosis might be easier in this case, we know that, that it's not always that easy. As a patient, I recommend keeping track of your symptoms, usually writing something in a journal with the severity of your symptoms, how they change from day to day, morning to evening, when did they start, what triggers them, what makes them better, has there been any change in your medications, and any other factor that you think might be pertinent to your swelling, because this is so important in helping a clinician make a diagnosis. A lot of times, a diagnosis is made by ruling out other medical conditions. It's typical to have an ultrasound performed in order to rule out a superficial blood clot or a deep venous thrombosis or DVT, both of which can cause swelling and mimic a lymphedema. A sudden onset of swelling may require some scans to see if there's a tumor in the area or something of that nature. And also an infection must be ruled out. In the case of an infection, this might be a direct cause of lymphedema, but it can also be a side effect of the lymphedema. An active treatment is always required for an infection before treatment of lymphedema. So make sure you get on your antibiotics right away. There's also a lot of tests that a clinician can do. We feel the texture of the skin. We're gonna poke and we're gonna prod. Do we get pitting with deep pressure? Is there an indentation? Is there a positive stemmer sign? Can we actually pinch the skin at the knuckles or not? Do you have a history of wounds? Do you have venous issues, venous insufficiency? And then we're gonna measure the affected limb and compare it to the unaffected limb. And we're usually gonna use a tape measure to do this. We wanna get your normal versus the affected side to see the differences. There's also a lot of technologies that can measure lymphedema. Bioimpedance sends frequencies throughout all of our limbs in order to measure fluid inside of the cells as well as outside of the cells. Fluid outside of the cells is known as extracellular fluid, and this is what we're looking at to determine if there's truly a lymphedema present in the limb. The definitive diagnostic test for lymphedema is called a lymphoscintigraphy. Now this test involves injecting a tracer into the web spaces of the hand or the foot if it's the legs that that's involved, and the dye in this tracer is then measured with x-ray type imaging over a certain period of time. So images are looked at to see where's the tracer going? How long does it take to get up the leg? Does it make it to the lymph nodes? Is it moving the same throughout different areas of the leg? Does it get stuck in certain areas? This is known as dermal backflow. So it really gives a better picture of the tissue and how the lymphatic fluid is flowing within our deeper lymphatics. Superficial lymphatic imaging can also be done to test the lymphatics, and this uses endocyanine green. And there are a few different names for this test, but it's all looking at superficial lymphatic issues. And this test only goes two centimeters deep. It also involves injecting a tracer and monitoring that tracer over time with different technologies. And now while there's debates about which might be better, they're both going to show lymphatic dysfunction. And either way, it makes sense to get treatment at the earliest signs of swelling, because we know sometimes it takes a long time to get a test scheduled, there's insurance issues, and no matter what, if you feel something, I urge you to go see your medical team. And if it does turn out to be lymphedema, the earlier that you can seek treatment, the better off you will be and the better results you can expect. No matter what, get that referral to see a certified lymphedema therapist from your personal medical team. My name is Lisa Berman Silvestri. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist, and my goal is to make us all lymph smart.